I just wanted to say sorry about not coming yesterday. I didn't notice. No offence. None taken. I've been snatched by aliens and I wouldn't have had a clue. I don't blame you, though. I mean, who wants to go to a baby funeral unless you have to? It's not that. It's... I... Uh... Oh, you must be feeling so empty today. Hollow. And what would you know about that exactly? I had a client. She had two miscarriages. Miscarriages? I'm not saying it's the same. No, it, it doesn't matter. I really, I really did just want to say I'm sorry. Yeah. Everyone's sorry. Everyone's full of clichés, too, about time and healing and me being so strong. So if you've come with all that, too... I haven't. But you are strong. Stronger than you know. And what if I don't want to be? What if I feel weak? Is that OK, or does that make everyone too uncomfortable because all they want is me holding it together and moving on? I know it's far too early for any of that kind of talk. I mean, how do you even do that? Moving on. I think the painful truth is you don't. Well, Paddy has. I mean, he's gone back to work, but me, I don't know how to. I mean, I know life goes on and that, and and you have to... Hey, you don't have to do anything. So forget all ideas and moving on. Don't move on. Stay with it. Keep it close. Closer than close. Just let it all in. I can't do that either. Why not? Because then I'll just cry forever and I will never stop. You won't. No one cries forever, Chas. And then what? Well, then, I guess, you just keep going through the motions. Getting up, going to work, feeling how you're feeling. And you just put one foot in front of the other until one day you find you can breathe again. Smile, even. Just like that? No. Not just like that. But it's a starting point. A lifeline. And that's all you need right now. 